Okay, now I lose. Oh, <laughs> I hope he doesn't have another hammer. <laughs> Here we go. We're doing it, folks. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are trying a overshoot strike through deck. The idea of this is basically not to address your opponent at all. You're just going to keep on using strike through minions like the line dancing zombie and the cowboy and overshoot uh, minions like the disco uh, like the Disco Dance Floor. Uh, you're also going to be running Con Man in this deck, which is going to be directly damaging your opponent's face. Hopefully we'll be able to aggro enough damage into our opponent in order to just uh, burst them down before they're able to control us. The Fire Rooster should be really, really good uh, in this deck because, again, they can't really easily just counter your minions. Like it's just, uh, another minion that's going to keep on hitting face. I think by the time you get to turn 5, either Flamenco, if you have some Dancing Zombies on the field, which I think is going to be really good with Line Dancing Zombie, which is very easy to keep alive. Uh, the turn before. Um, you can go with the Flamenco, or you can just go with Binary Stars if you have a whole bunch of hard hitters uh, on the field, especially with the Space Cowboy. Now, if they are able to control your early game, a combo that I'm looking for is going to be Disco Dance Floor into Cowboy. This will make the Cowboy again uh, do Overshoot 3, and then move to the next lane, so then the plants there can't hit him, and it'll keep on moving, uh, and, and just keep on doing uh, direct damage, which is really, you're just get, trying to get into a race with your opponent. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's see if this deck works. I'm running three copies of the one cost environment graveyard. Not only is it a very good way to set up Cowboy, if Cowboy pops out of that, it has four attack. Um, it is good with a lot of the cards in this deck. I think having a one cost environment is really important since we're going to be spending most of our resources being aggressive. So we're not going to have really more than one brain to spend on a graveyard in any given turn. Here we go. This is a fine combo. I think. Do we keep the bungee plumber? Why not? Oh, we have the best aggro play in the entire turn one. Yeah. I can play this on three, and I can go with these two. Is this smart? Since one of these gets countered this turn? I think I'm going to be super greedy. Right, can I call you Hun? Sure. You can call me wherever you want. Am I going to play Battle for Neighborville? I played it a little bit. And I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm looking forward to PvZ3, though. What? What is this? So this is a 3-6 now. It's OTK freaking Wildberry. So strange. This is fine. We're going to do a lot of work with this cowboy. It's really nice against Captain Combustible. So, uh, does not have a way to deal with a cowboy. Another one. Should I do this play? I guess so. I know Headhunter. I don't think there's enough small uh, dancing minions to justify. Get right. It's okay. I don't think Flamenco really needs to do more than about four damage in this deck. And it does. It's not like a huge OTK Flamenco strat. By any means. PvZ3 is in pre-alpha on Android. That's fine, this moves it. Really? This is very sad. This just dies, actually. Ugh. What happened? This doesn't even do the damage. Oh well. <clears throat> If PvZ3, anyway, if it ends up having a multiplayer mode, I will be all about it. No problem. Uh, I guess this. So 6 damage takes out a 5 2. It's pretty good. He's not running. Captain Cucumber's not an aggro card. He's moving us here. Here. It's not a bad play. We're still doing seven to his face. Let's 
If PvZ3 ends up being the next Clash Royale, but in PvZ mode, I will... I will be so about that. As long as it's made well. He's strengthening this. He's letting us have all this damage to face here. Can we get a proc block? I think this is the one. <laughs> PvZ2, uh, I don't know. You're asking me. I think this is guaranteed lethal. It's guaranteed. It was guaranteed even without the brute strength, so these flamencos always win the game. There's none- there's no- oh, there's time to shine! Oh, I totally forgot about time to shine. That's his out. It's a- like a 50-50, I think. Yes. This wouldn't have helped, this play. I was thinking of putting it there. There's actually nothing we could have done there. Uh, but this is six damage. We don't even need the disco floor in this in there. Well, we got into a race and we beat him. That's the good news. My gimp is acting up. Is one to know? I'll change the score in a little bit. My little Im Im image editor. That all little. What is this poor thunder? I have very big things. I asked you whether or not you should scrap unused cards, and you told me I should. I looked at your Raptor Trickster deck. It was everything you wanted in a deck, and your top tier, all thanks to you. Aww. I'm happy that worked. That was a great deck. I haven't played Raptor Trickster Hybrid in so long. You do that with Super Brains. That's a really good deck. I'm happy it worked out for you. Trickster is also usable with all the Brainy Heroes. I mean, all the Brainy Heroes. Amazing. Amazing. I think I'm gonna go for this. Really not that good against him. All of his power is take this out. <coughs> it's fine. Can we play this on three? Find our space time. It's not where this is an aggro deck. He only does one damage. Spell fish deck does it for you, yeah. For many pirates. I know this plays better around Scorch, but I wanted to set this up. Ugh. I'm gonna... Do I Graveyard this turn? Let's stick this in. Do I just graveyard on four and stick this in? I think we pass here. On three and then do the same thing. I think this is better. I'm actually not going for this. We have this on five now, actually. Did I go for this on four or on five? Five is like... 
It was like OTK. Should I just go for the OTK? He's not gonna kill me. I mean, let's screw it. How can he actually? How can Solar Flare play around this? This guy's gonna kill him. This is gonna f seven, seven, and seven. We should just OTK him here. Actually, it's pass. Oh yeah, we're one and out. I just have to. My gim's acting weird. Reminding me. Uh, how does Solar Flare even counter this? Yes, we blocked the five. Look at this. Look at this combo. This is ridiculous. How is he supposed to counter this at all? I guess if he covers the environment, that'll help a little bit. It'll actually die to the five four then. Ooh, he needs to cover this environment or he loses. It's definitely worth it. This is Cowboy from freaking hell. This is Infinity. We could be running Sugar Retreat. Is there a way to draw cards with Infinity? Other than Imp Commander? <laughs> That's not gonna do anything. Look at this play! Look at this, this does seven. He has empty block meter, we haven't touched him this game. We've just been completely ignoring him. Three, two, he needs a three to survive. No, and he blocked! Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? What kind of garbage was? That was so dumb. That was so dumb. I can't believe my luck! I cannot believe that is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Are you freaking kidding me? We should have this. No, it's still guaranteed lethal. Let's go and face. <laughs> go and face. Hallelujah. Ah, <laughs> uh, we don't even need to do this, but it's guaranteed. <laughs> This deck is actually working, though. Um, is that a fail or a highlight? Vote in the chat. Is that in the fail compilation or the highlight compilation? Keep it going. Fail. Put it in both. Okay, we'll go in the fails. The fails compilation has highlights in it. That's part of the thing it makes. It's not just people making dumb plays. It's a very unlucky thing to happen to. Alright. Now I'll go in the fail. I mark them separately when I'm writing them down. Huh, okay. <laughs> that was insane. Here's Chompzilla, non gravestone. I kind of like this hand. Do we get rid of the bungee? This is fine. Let's start on turn two. Do you get money from YouTube? The ads give me money. Who else plays PvZ Heroes because of Pi? Aww. Pirate mega awesome dude. Ah, uh, so this goes in Heights player on Scorch. Wow. <laughs> what a counter. What a counter. Guys. Put this all the way on the right. Just to fake him out a little bit. Yeah, 
Ja, es geht. Aha. I don't know about that play. He knows it's line dancing zombie. What a snipe. There is no ex. He knows for sure. He's with 100% certainty that it's line dancing zombie. Or else I would have definitely put it here. That is that is the biggest snipe I have ever seen. Are you kidding me? Can someone please justify that play that he's not sniping? That's crazy, dude. I'm going with this. Not sniping anymore. Ooh, not a snipe anymore. <laughs> that was the least snipey play imaginable, so. Still though, that it's not a it's not a flame face in that situation. It's not a Ah, oh, what else would it be? So this is eight. I'm gonna go go for it. What? Where's Bungie Plumber? That's tough though. Did this come from? This man's just a, a goddamn potato. That's all he is. This is only two. <laughs> it just dies immediately. <laughs> Get wrecked. Double damage. We're bringing the heat. <laughs> Scorch is pretty good here. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> God damn. God damn. Okay, we're probably gonna lose. Cowboy. <gasps> Cowboy would be so good. We really should just stall for Cowboy. That's the only way we're gonna win this game. Cowboy gets us back in this game. Yeah, that's fine. That's another card, too. Come on, cowboy. Giddy up, cowboy! Damn, what the hell is this? 
No, uh, we can't win. <laughs> Stupid. Eh. Uh. Come on, cowboy. Who the hell is cowboy? What about? Is there a way to draw cards with infinity in the early game? I want to do graveyard. Look, cowboy sugary treat is turn six. It's not bad. It needs to be grave busted. You can control them with line dancing zombies to draw out the, the stuff. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that part is hard to deal with. <laughs> Giddy up, cowboy! Is this, this isn't even good on turn one. I'm just passing. I don't care. Oh, baby. This man just stinky. What the hell? Oh, dang it here. Imp Heavy's not good for Cowboy. The whole point is to have no charges on the block meter. Uh... I think this is fine. Every damn cycling, every damn cycle. Wow. Definitely not playing this, by the way. How many people here would have played this environment? Every damn, every damn, every damn cycling. Do I go with this for some reason? Oh, because then we don't have to play the environment. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is it! If you guys want to know why people think Cycle Cap sucks, that is why. What are you doing? What are you doing? It, it just frustrates me so much because uh, people just come and they say, Cycle Cap sucks, bro. I can't win any games with it. That's because you suck at PvZ Heroes. That's why. What are you doing? This is every time. No one knows how to play. This is the best deck in the game. Just, pl just play the deck. Just play the freaking deck. Oh, it's so bad. I'm gonna do this play, actually. It's better than the Disco Floorway. It is better. Oh, come on! I'm so mad. I hope he at least has a second one right now. Play the deck correctly. Stop playing your plan on the grapes on turn three. It's... Okay, good. You're dead. He doesn't have it. He would have... Come on, man. Congratulations. You're good at PvZ Heroes now. Yes. That was a huge one. The fry. People on Reddit know everything, okay? Cycle Cap isn't even good. You know what? I'm writing that down. I'm gonna make a video explaining what people, stupid people, this is 46 of them. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm making a compilation of every time someone misplays when they're playing Psycho Cap. That's what's going on now. Come to my stream every day, tell me Psycho Cab doesn't win, that they beat it. Yeah, I beat it too. I beat it with freaking Aggro Infinity. You know why? <laughs> Fire risk of value. He doesn't even know. Guarantee it.
The game's very balanced right now. They're not toxic. They just don't know. I'm gonna make a probably a short a short five minute video explaining what the biggest mistakes people do when they're playing nightcap. Ah, don't know how. <laughs> Toxic fry. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> it's just so annoying. That'll probably be just the intro of the video. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go right into that. <laughs> there we go. I'm, I'm making a I'm literally writing down every single time I see someone misplay misplay psycho game. That's how this is going down. Here we go. That's it. We need a leap! We need a leap! Thank you so much, Sebon, for subscribing in 16 months. Really appreciate it. He, pa he passed turn one, right? He's not running any of his card draw. I think we can go with this. Move in the rooster. Okay. If I figured it was a 50 50 that he had this, so then maybe this play would have been better. I like, still would have dragged it to one. Mm, Did he say da? Da. He's Russian, okay? Beta Caratina makes your skin turn orange. Wow, this is four bullseye. It's huge. Huge. Uh, I'm gonna go... Where does this graveyard go? Probably nowhere. Disco not it's so clutch there, actually. We need a leap! We need a leap! It's my birth fry. Woot, woot, woot. Thank you so much, Ribsy. It's your birthday. Happy birthday, Ribsy. How many months? 12 months. Man! So you subscribed for the first time on your birthday? Is that how that goes? I think this is worth it. Even though a piece in the card just props his block meter on this bullseye spread. We're gonna need this, this cowboy to win. We can even play this in the water if he just draws here. They nerfed Disco not so hard yet, anyway. This is what we're going with. We'll take the damage. This is fine. I could actually put this here, because then it strike throughs, it hits. Huh. Yeah, at least very, 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 very though. I'll just go the the BM route. If anyone knows in any YouTube videos, you've heard me ranting about Cycle Cap, send me some links and timestamps. I'm gonna make a compilation if any of you guys happen to come across it in YouTube videos. Uh, I'd love some past ones. I'm sure we'll see plenty of them coming up though, in the next couple weeks. So. Anyone wants to contribute some clerical work to the cause. <laughs> Come on, would have been nice there. If he plays his Lieutenant Caratron, we're just gonna fire his tree. That's fine. Play Garden Warfare. 
Oh, baby love. I've heard about you. <laughs> You're spamming your own emotes. Ugh. Cringy self-advertisement there, dude. I'm gonna double bungee that probably. <sighs> this is fine, this basically dies anyway. So I guess they could people asking who the best hero is the best card to not really. I feel like it's part of my job. This actually prevents the fires from going in. It's really a double, doubly good play. Can you sing for us, Rai? Ooh, not bad. Wait. Interesting how he values the... Oh, look at this play! <laughs> that is an encrypt from hell. From hell. God damn. I will kill you all tomorrow. See there I'm singing. That was that was just hurtful. <laughs> Should I go to the highlight reel? Is it good enough? <laughs> He's just uncovering. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Bam. This is fine. Wow, that hit. So this procs a block. Oh, so great. I guess he can just put any minion here, so... Maybe he'll remove something? I guess I'll always have this next turn. It's gonna be really hard for him to... Mm, let's just pass. It'll be nice to have double the re you know, extra resources for next turn. He's down to five. This is a good play. He got me back. Okay. Question is, what's the play? Do I just go face with this? Because if we block, then three wins next turn. This should be fun. This one damage is a little sad now, but it did proc the block last turn. Ah! line <laughs> Uh, this fight rooster doesn't have a good lane. I guess I'll go lane four to see. What, he's moving? He's moving. That. Interesting. I think it's just these two. Line Dancing Zombie should get it, though. We also baited him by putting something into that graveyard first. You just want to put the less important one first. It's just a, just a little psychological thing. They'll usually grave us the first, first gravestone you play. Did we get that from the... Uh, 
Got him. Line Dancing Zombie is such a good aggro card, control card, and late game card. It's so great. Jeez. This deck is actually kick-ass. We do a nice aggro deck would be so good in the meta now. You bad me rising two zombies and the left one becomes trickster and the right one becomes binary stars. The trickster will do double damage. It's not they're not they are sort of spawned from left to right, but the abilities happen after they're all spawned. The bad moon rising has to finish before the abilities of the of its of the minions it creates uh, occur. To make a long story short. This should be okay. I'll keep the spongy plumber too. It'll come in handy. We're going like this. Zombie deck folks on strike through this sort of is. Sort of. I think this goes on the ground so the three one doesn't get hit by the by the cheese. By the spike thing. This is better to get hit by spike thing. Interesting. It's taking a lot of heat. It's not a bad play though. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. <laughs> Is encrypting this good? <laughs> Not really. I think we're just going to this. Well. Ugh. Wow, that's a that's a big play. It's super powering as well with these guys. We're in trouble. We are in big trouble. We're losing both of these. He has these two cards that we have just no answer to. Here he is. Just gotta race, race him to the face. Ugh, that's not gonna help our cause. That grows his two cards too. I never thought of just playing Triceratops and then healing your face and play Solitaire. Uh, this cowboy actually lives here. Hopefully it'll roll a two and then a one. Don't block here. Thank you. Perfect. Really perfect. So he already used, he has a heal in there. Mm -hmm. The binary star should be fine here. Now he's doing 11 to my face out of 15, which hurts a lot. I think we just go face. <laughs> should I do this? Is this crazy to do this play? I mean, he can't really do any more damage to me. He'd have to draw so many cards. Oh, this is so harsh. Good deck for a video, Cowboy plus Deadly. And Smoke Bomb. I I've tried, that's just a lot for Cowboy. Cowboy's a four cost card, I don't want to be using it as like a maybe or new boy. So you can use that one. This is still lethal, this is still nine damage. Do we win? No way! Oh, that hurt. Does he win now? You're saying we could have gone con man, played around Graves Buster, and then if he draws a card, he loses. You're right. His best way of winning was card draw. Maybe the con man was better there. Ah, woulda, coulda, shoulda. We, we, oh man. Ugh, yeah, I played in a Grave Buster. That's what happens. That's the problem with binary Shut stars. Up, Binaries are so much better. If Stuck it wasn't with me. pneumonia for the fifth huh? day in a row, but I got my second father from six provinces. A way to comfort me with this irrelevant game. Love you, Fry. <laughs> Thanks, eh? Hey. Oh, that's so sweet. It's the sweetest thing I've ever heard in my life. You kidding me, eh? Oh, daddy. You're very sweet.
I actually have this plan too, which is cool. Why well, disco knots? Uh, this was to work with flamenco and be an aggro card and work with dancing floor. Look how good it is here. Should I play this one? It doesn't make a flamenco bullseye, but it makes it do two more damage. Yeah, they're pretty useless. If you're trying to say they're useless, I'm with you. He didn't have anything? God dang. I feel like I'm getting sniped a lot today. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Ugh. Oops. That was weird. Yeah. Press the wrong button. Good to bait out the Grey Buster. Oh! He had hammer from... His superpower, congratulations. Man, we're kicking in here. I think this play works better next week. <laughs> Dancing synergy for Flamenco. Are you kidding me? It makes the binary better next time. Actually, this is guaranteed to be I kill you! Why Disco not fry? No, I'm joking. I agree with you. <laughs> that sucks, but it worked there. He just doesn't have small removal. Anyway, two more. If flamenco pops out of a nerf environment, what if you play flamenco? You're saying into a into a bog, and there's a disco knot on the field. Would it be bullseye? Ah, that's a good game mechanic. I'm guessing it would be bullseye. I'm guessing it would be. It has one attack. That's such a good exploit. I want to take advantage of that someday. I just never run Disco Knot and Flamenco in the same deck. It's the problem. How many bogs? We did see a bog today, though. Hmm. Okay, this is actually good against this piece of garbage. Oh, here we go. Oh, now we're really... If you play Scorch, it's so freaking good on my one drop. Play Terraria. Wow. Jeez. Be Terraria. This is definitely good enough. No, no. Did I just get you baited? Did I just get you baited, folks? Hard to tell. Oh, what am I gonna do about this? Portal? I think this is fine, just so we can keep this within range. Uh, you know, this is actually bungee plumberable next turn. We all can also kill it with this. Ugh, sad, but... Oh, it's so close. Yeah. 
Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle. Shut up and take my money. Thank you, A. It took me this long to realize it's Fry from Futurama saying, Shut up and take my money. That deserves another two dollars from the hilarious pun. I never got you. W U U W U U W U. Thank you so much. Hey, you're very nice. Hey, is very nice man. Hey, is so good. Thank you so much. Oh, no. What am I gonna do with that? What do you suppose I'll do with that? Doing eight now. I can't even. <sighs> I don't know. What if he just does a bonus attack and we lose? Okay, well we're spending all of our all of our resources in the killing this development now. Since I didn't get a bungee or a fruit cake. <laughs> Who runs trash mower? I know, right? We. We. You're dead. Congratulations. <laughs> now I lose. <laughs> I hope he doesn't have another hammer. <laughs> Here we go. We're doing it, folks. Screw it. You will never catch me. <laughs> We're finally, after this entire stream is done, we're finally doing the combo we built this deck around. It'll overshoot and then move, so it never attacks until it blocks and then it starts attacking. And then it, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> it doesn't attack, though. It only overshoots. This is the stupidest thing I've ever done in my life. Just putting this out there. So if he, see now the the, the tackling is gonna catch up to it. No, no. <laughs> or chops a little superpower. One of those. What a fail. What a fail. Oh no. <laughs> so stupid. It's so stupid. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that in just the highlight count. <laughs> that was just hilarious. Do we win this game? We just won! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> he doesn't even know! No one expects binary stars. The binary inquisition, if you know what I'm saying. We literally won that game. And got him. <laughs> Could have played around that a little better, I think. <laughs> he hit exactly 12 health. Hmm. That was beautiful. Uh, DM me the video, I don't know. Just DM it to me, it's fine. Shut up and take my money. Hey Fry, okay. have you ever tried the game Escape this last donation before TD Canada knocks on my <laughs> door? But it's a funny little pixelated game where you try and escape different prisons you should try it out sometime by now. Also, it's like six dollars on Steam, I think. Okay. Colin. Escape. Is it like one of those is it a stealth game? Because I hate stealth games. Should I have mulligan it? Very aggressive, huh? Thanks, keep me for the clip. If you had a dream about Popcat making a new update, it's not sad. It's not a stealth game. Escapist. Uh, I think I've seen this actually. I think I've seen this. Is it? Is it on? Oh, it is on Google Play. I've, I've played this on Google Play. There's like a demo version I played. 
It was 8.49. I have played this game before. It was amusing. Amusing. That happened. Look, mommy, it's a bullseye. <laughs> Swing and a miss. I want to do some math here. I think the block meter becomes too sad if we don't front this. It's a little bit sad. But the play is this and then this. No, but he, oh, I rolled a three. Oh, stupid. I'm a slithery little snake. <laughs> He's expecting it. Slithery little snack, snack, snack. Right in the... The problem is... Nah, probably these blocks next year. We actually have a big fat daddy answer, which is nice. I'm gonna do this and then binary stars next. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we just do this, huh? Should I have just gone face and proc the block there? So greedy. I think this is correct because this is just so good next turn. Do the half measure. You can't like kill this, you can freeze it at most. Face! Ooh, that's a huge damage swing because now this one procs the block. Here. Maybe not. It's fine. I'm gonna do this next turn. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ah! That's a hefty bounce. This does six. Uh, if, if, if anything goes to one, we usually win. We have to do is just to survive, too. Oh, perfect! We should win here. It needs double threes. Yes! <laughs> yes! Ooh, this deck went eight and two. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think the, uh, the overshoot zombie, even though it did win us the game there, I don't think that was good. I think everything else was fine, though. Maybe we should run something that works better with Graveyard. Hmm. It's amazing how this kind of aggro deck goes 8 and 2. The Flamencos were... I don't know. The Flamenco did win us one game. We only saw it once, though. We are really just mulliganing out of our hand every time. I feel like this is just opening up my mind to how you can... A new way of doing aggro on the zombie side. They'd be making this more of an all-out overshoot deck. The binary stars were quite good, too. I like graveyard binary stars, because then you can run non-gravestone minions to lead up to the binary stars and still play around Grave Buster. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. This is Fry.